In today's Number Corner lesson, we will be revealing the 10th marker and introducing the observations chart as we continue to investigate our calendar patterns and those very curious symbols we've been wondering about. Today is September 10th, but before I turn over the calendar marker, I want us to take a moment to look at the first nine markers. What have you predicted so far about what might come next for marker number 10. Pause this video and make a comment below with your predictions. Let's go ahead and finally see. Think quietly for a minute about what you notice <gasps> and then share your observations. There's been a change in the pattern. What is it? Why do you think the change happened on the 10th day? Is there something particular about the number 10 that would cause this change? If the symbols stand for numbers, what might these numbers be? Go ahead and comment below with a thought or two. Who thought it was going to be 10 horseshoes and 10 sticks for day 10? Because honestly, that was kind of what I was predicting at first. But did that happen? No. Why? What makes you think that? It's like all the sticks disappeared and turned into a spiral or something. Now we've got a spiral and a horseshoe. It's kind of like 10, because there are two digits or marks, whatever those things are. Now, are there any last guesses? before I reveal what these symbols actually are? Who knows? Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. For the last 10 days, we have been looking at ancient Egyptian numerals. As you may have guessed, the symbols that you have been looking at so far do stand for ones, tens, and now 100. So, what the ancient Egyptians called a staff was representing one. What the ancient Egyptians called a heel bone represented 10. And what the ancient Egyptians would call a scroll represents 100. And here's what the bottom half are. Make a comment about what you notice regarding these ancient Egyptian numerals. We have the lotus flower representing a thousand. The bent finger represents 10,000. The tadpole represents 100,000. And get this, the astonished person represents one million. Take a moment to study this chart. Try to figure out or confirm the numbers for previous calendar markers. So what about four? What, what could we know then? What about five, seven? Make a comment about what you notice. For example, that line is a staff. That's a one and the thing we called a horseshoe is a 10. So that means 11. And, so that was number one. And then on the second day, that must be 22 because there are two tens, see from what I know on the chart, and two ones. Very cool. And today, look at today, would be 110 because that's a 100 and a 10, right? All right. Here we have our calendar grid observations chart. It will also be hanging in our classroom. I want you to help me fill it in. So go ahead and grab your math journal if you've not already and date it with today's date in the top right hand corner. Then I want you to make your own chart with three columns. The header for each column is date, ancient Egyptian number, and modern. I won't have you fill in every single row, but every few lines I do want you to copy down as we move along. Are you ready? If not, pause the video so that you are. All right, day one was what ancient Egyptian number? A horseshoe represents 10 and a stick is one. So we said that's the modern number 11, that's right. So go ahead and write this down and draw the ancient Egyptian number even though it's not in purple, 
okay? Day two was two horseshoes and two sticks, which represented two tens and two ones. The modern number, 22. Day three was three horseshoes and three sticks, which represented what? Yep, three tens and three ones. Excellent. The modern number, 33. There it is. All right. Write down the next two rows, okay? Day four were the ancient Egyptian numbers that looked like four horseshoes and four sticks, which we learned represented four tens and four ones, the modern number 44. I know we were starting another row with this one because that is what is the one on our calendar marker. I'm just using those little pictures, those icons. But in our classroom, you're gonna notice that we're just writing the horseshoes and the sticks all on the same line. So it really did not matter with the ancient Egyptian numerals what uh, row they were on. Okay, day five, here we go, was five horseshoes and five sticks representing five tens and five ones, the modern number 55. And day six was six horseshoes and six sticks representing six tens and six ones, the modern number 66. All right, day seven was seven horseshoes and seven sticks representing seven tens and seven ones the modern number 77. Day eight was eight horseshoes and eight sticks representing eight tens and eight ones, the modern number 88. Day nine was nine horseshoes and nine sticks representing nine tens and nine ones, the modern number 99. And then on day 10 today, we've got the new symbol. And what is it? Yep, the spiral squiggly thing that the ancient Egyptians called a scroll and one horseshoe after it. And what did the ancient Egyptians call a horseshoe? What we've been calling a horseshoe. Yep, a heel bone. And what did the spiral represent? Yes, it represented 100, and the horseshoe represented 10, so the modern number 110. Did you get those last two lines down? If not, pause the video and do so now. Observe this chart that you have filled in. Now that we can see the modern translations of our calendar markers so far, what are you noticing? What observations, conjectures, and generalizations about the numbers on the calendar grid and the record sheet could you share with us? I really want you to make a comment about one thing that you notice. So pause the video and make that comment. Who noticed the pattern for 11 for 1? 22 for 2, 33 for 3, 44 for 4 and it keeps going until the 10th one, and then it does something we might not get yet when it goes to 110. Did anyone notice that pattern? All right, or maybe, and sorry guys, I've got these green circled already. Just follow along with me. Or maybe you thought of it like this, okay? You thought one, one, and then obviously the next digit was one in the 11 as well. Two, two and then up to 10, and that's the one and the 10. Or perhaps you thought of something like this. The numbers go up by 11. It skip counts. 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, and that's also adding, right? Adding 11 every time. So adding 11 each time, adding 11 each time, adding 11 each time. That's right. So there's lots of ways to look at this and look at these numbers and how they are translated from what our date was, what the ancient Egyptian number looked like, and now our modern translations. Okay, let's wrap up today's number corner lesson by predicting what the next two or three calendar markers will look like and what the equivalent number in our modern counting system will be. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.